What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Knox, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Platinum Hunter series for Mega Man X Legacy Collection. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get all of the upgrades, including heart tanks, sub tanks, right armor chips, and armor upgrades. Thank you for watching. And starting at Mega Man X, we're going to start with Chill Penguin Stage. You can't miss this one. There's no way you can miss it. But this will give you the ability to dash. Come back to this stage after defeating Flame, Ma Flame Mammoth, and you'll be able to use the Flamethrower ability to destroy this little tank and get the Heart Tank. Come back after defeating Boomer Kawanger and use his own ability to grab this Heart Tank in his own stage. In Spartan Mantle stage, you'll be able to come over here. I sped this up for convenience for you guys. Um, however, I did take an unnecessary ladder climb, but it's okay. Right here, you can actually go all the way against this wall here, and actually the E-Tank is right there for you guys. Use Boomer Kawanger's ability, the Boomerang Cutter, to get it. There you go. In Flame Mammoth stage, if you come back here after you've gotten the armor upgrade from Storm Eagle stage, you'll be able to get another armor upgrade. And coming all the way to the top and using that same ability will also allow you to use that to get the E tank. In Sting Chameleon stage, if you take this top path here, instead of going into the cave, you'll be introduced to another mini boss which is going to be RJ, I forgot what his numbers were. Defeating him will earn you another armor upgrade. Taking the bottom path after defeating Splash Octopus and having the armor upgrade from the Storm Eagle stage will allow you to earn another heart tank. In Storm Eagle stage, if you ride the first little elevator platforms up to the top, then dash jump to the left, you'll be able to get that heart tank. Take these little platforms that go up and down, go to the left, and there you go. Instead of progressing, once you see this, slide down this, there's a reason why I slid down because I wasn't sure if this was the right spot. Use the uh, ability you get from Flame Mammoth to destroy those barrels and you'll be given another armor upgrade. In Armored Armadillo stage, once the first Mole Bearer comes out of nowhere, just go to the left of it from where it came and get the E-Tank. Right here, you're going to want to use the Flame ability that you got from Flame Mammoth to destroy the Mole Bearer. You need to destroy him before he gets too far because otherwise you won't be able to get this Heart Tank. And Splash Octopus the stage, come up here and destroy this green boat. It'll be the second little wind turbine that'll allow you to get up there. From there, you can go in here, use the ability you got from Storm Eagle to destroy that. Little water snake dragon thingy. Go all the way to the right and get yourself the, e -tank, the heart tank. Sorry. Mega Man X2 in Wheel Gator stage, use a charge speed burner to get that heart tank and once you have the air dash ability you can come up here to slide down air dash again come up here and get the buster upgrade use a charge bubble stream to come up here you're gonna want to dash jump all the way over here and clip onto this platform come up here for the heart tank in that same stage where you see those jellyfish just use another charge bubble stream and get that E-Tank. Using the ice ability would be a lot easier for that part. What I like to do here is I like to just jump onto this beetle, ride it all the way up to the tippy top, then dash jump over here and get that E-Tank. 
in Warp Mod stage, freeze this guy with Crystal Snail's ability, and you'll be able to use that to get up here and get the Heart Tank. Also, on the same stage, if you come back down here, just go through and use Wheel Gator's ability to actually destroy this part of the floor. Then you should be able to just jump down. I don't know why it slid, but you can jump down here for another armor upgrade. In Magnus Empty Stage, if you hadn't alerted the spotlight, just use a charged speed burner here to get this heart tank. You'll have to use a charged speed burner as well to get up here. It's gonna take practice, so get ready. Gonna get this E tank. Right here, you're gonna wanna space out your jumps because you can hover with that right armor to get that heart tank. Then get on this wall here, slide down here, and get yourself another armor upgrade. In Overdrive Ostrich's stage, you're gonna wanna use yet another charged speed burner to get all the way through these spikes. You're gonna die, so be ready for that. Then use Will Gator's ability to destroy these blocks to get yourself yet another armor upgrade. In Water Sponge's stage, at the very beginning, just jump up here and get the Heart Tank. In the little second area where the first place where it's raining is, just come on up here, go all the way to the very top, go to the right, there's no way you can miss this E tank up here. In Mega Man X3 Tunnel Rhino stage, just come over here and you'll get the E tank. You're gonna need Thunder Triad, so you'll have to defeat Volt Catfish for this. You'll see this little area up here, just use a charged Thunder Triad, and you'll be able to have access to that heart tank. Going a little further will also allow you to use another Thunder Triad to destroy this rock and earn yourself another armor upgrade. In Blizzard Buffalo stage, use Tornado Fang to destroy these ice blocks here. Destroy all of them, making it a lot easier on yourself. Dash jump for the heart tank. And speaking of dashing, go all the way up to the top by using that little wind turbine thing. Go all the way to the right. Dash jump up here and you have yourself the dash upgrade. Now you can use this upgrade to come back and get the E-Tank. On Neon Tiger stage, destroy that guy and use your dash upgrade to come up here and get the E-Tank. Then you can also use it at the very end of the stage to grab yourself a heart tank. Use Tornado Fang to destroy this block and get yourself the Buster upgrade. In Gravity Beetle stage, you can come up here and get yourself the Riot Armor chip. And after defeating Blast Hornet, you can come back here and get the heart tank. In Toxic Seahorse's stage, just come all the way up here and you'll be able to get yourself the heart tank. Use a Charge Ice ability to come up here and snag yourself another Riot Armor chip. In Blast Hornet stage, you can just use your Air Dash up to come up here and get yourself yet another heart tank. Then come over here, destroy this bridge here and jump down. Use Tornado Fang to destroy this little block here. Or this little wall, whatever you call it. <laughs> I don't know why I call it the block. Anyway, destroy this little crate, I guess is what it is. And this out pathway will be open to you. Destroy the little little guy that's keeping that mech hostage and hop on in. And there's you, another right armor ship. On Volt Catfish stage, you'll be able to ride the second elevator all the way up to the top. Just simply just use the Air Dash ability to dash over here. And you can use it to get yourself back. The third elevator, ride it to the tippy top and prepare a charged gravity bomb. Then use it, and you'll be able to ride this little lift here to get yourself an armor upgrade. 
on the same stage, come all the way up here and actually pull up a right armor. I just use the N1. Don't use the frog or the F1. You'll go crash into the floor here, destroy these guys. You'll get not only an E-Tank, but a bunch of goodies as well. On Fresh Crawfish's stage, you'll be able to actually use a charged Thunder Triad on this little platform here. They'll drop down and get the last ride armor chip for the stage. Then come over here and use the one that you just obtained, the Hawk. And you're going to ride it over here. We need it for the missiles. This Mechanoloid is going to drop out of nowhere. Dash jump and try to stay on the right hand side. Drop down to the next platform, cling into that side, shoot that wall, and there you go. There's your heart tank. And Mega Man X4 and Magma Dragoon stage, come right here. You'll be able to clip up here. This is in part two, and you'll be able to get the heart tank. And also in part two, right afterward, ride the, the right armor up, jump out, then use a charged twin slasher to get yourself the armor upgrade. Web Spider stage, you'll be able to come down in the first part, go to the right, and you'll be able to get the body, the armor upgrade for the feet. And in the second part, right before the end of the, where the boss is, use Rising Fire to get that. In Cyber Peacock stage, your objective is to get an S rank on each of the three little mini stages, I guess, in the first part. Speed is of the essence of this one. The first S rank will award you with a heart tank. I went ahead and just attached me doing the entire thing, and I ended up having to come back for the third part just because I kind of wanted to have the plasma shot to make it a lot easier on me. But you are welcome to use the same path that I took if you like, or just whatever floats your boat. After getting your second S rank, you'll be awarded with a E tank. After this part, if you already have the electric web ability, you can actually use that to kind of help get through this little area a little easier for you, at least right here because you can actually take these little platforms above. You could use that as a route to get up here a little quicker. I like making things harder on myself, so there I go. This final S rank will award you with the helmet upgrade. In Frost Wilder's stage, we got a few things to grab here. You're gonna use a rising fire on this little block to get the heart tank. This is in part one, and also in part one, use an electric web right here after sliding down your first big slope to get the EX chain. In part two, in the second room full of ice blocks, you're gonna actually wanna come up here and get the weapon tank. Jet Stingray stage, I showed you exactly where you need to do a drop, but what I did after so far, I ended up just dropping down instead of actually jumping to get the heart tank. And after Jet Stingray comes from the bottom left, you're eventually gonna go up this little ramp and you'll have the ability to jump onto another platform. Do so, count to two, then dash. At least that's what I did. In Storm Owl stage, you can get the heart tank right here before the UFO destroys that platform. And also on his stage, you'll need the electric web ability as X to get this. You're gonna barely clip onto that wall, and then you'll be able to get one out of two Buster upgrades. It's gonna take practice, so don't freak out. This one right here is gonna give you the ability to charge up the Buster to where you can shoot three charged Buster shots. This one is my personal favorite and go-to, which is going to be the Plasma Shot. This one is going to basically be more effective against bosses.
in Slash Beast stage, once you get into the ride armor, go ahead and just start destroying these cards. You don't have to go back, just go forward. And in Twin Mushroom stage, you'll be able to go into the second part and get this part tank.